Hi folks, Tony here once again, and this uh, script I'm going to put together is about photos. So the club has photos in three different locations. We first of all have photos in Facebook. I'm just logged into the Facebook site at the moment, clicked on photos, and you'll see truckloads of them. And if I double click on the photo, such as this one, it will display the photo in a larger file as a larger image and I can do with it what I want. Um, it would be really wonderful if these photos had a bit of a description about them. Some people do that, most people don't. It does help a lot. So if I right mouse click with my mouse, I'm using a desktop computer by the way, I can save that image uh, and gives it a gobbledygook name which I'm going to overwrite I'm just going to call it Margaret Ducking Under and that's going to save and it's really important to work out where things are going to go I'm just going to be nice and simple and save it into pictures and always a good idea to make a new folder and I'll call it MVB photos. Okay, and save that image into that folder. Now that I've got it there, I can explore its. I'm going show in folder, you can't see that. I'll just move the screen over a bit. Down here is where the photo um, link to the photo is. Right mouse on it, show in folder. And it tells me a bit about the photo. I'll just drag it down. It tells me its name. And it tells me that its size is 136 kilobytes. Which is not very big. And its dimensions are 960 by 700 um, pixels, that is. So we have an image that um, has been put on Facebook by, by some member of the Facebook group and uh, we can then work with it by saving it to our computer and doing other stuff with it. So that's our Facebook photos but we've also got uh, a stash of photos on Flickr. So let's bring them up. I'll just go up to here and open up the club's Flickr page. Flickr.com slash photos slash Mario Valley Bushwalkers. Flickr is a service that we've had since day one of the club, effectively. And we have a, a what's called a pro account, which allows us to upload as many photos as we like. There's no limit. The beauty of saving files to f photos to Flickr is that it encourages you to save them in albums. And it's a form of enforced organization in, in a way you don't have to save them into albums but it's much better if you do so you can see we've got lists of photos by by event which makes a lot more sense when we're trying to uh, do something with those images okay so that's the second place that we've got a stash of photos and the third place is the club's website itself and all of the photos that you see uh, on the club's website are either embedded from Facebook or embedded from Flickr or in some cases they are there they're actually residing on the on the website's server so in the event of, I'll just bring up the club's website now and I'll just move this up so you can see what I'm typing just blew it. Oh, here we are. Okay. So we've got a slideshow showing, as you're all aware of, I'm sure. And those slideshow photos are required to actually be on the server that the, the website is delivered from. So somehow I've got to get the photos from either Facebook or Flickr, save them down to the hard drive, my hard drive, then upload them to the club's website and use them there. Now to use them in a, a slideshow like this, they need to be 
quite good or high resolution. The size of the uh, files that we saw, which we downloaded on from Facebook. Um, so this has just been a brief introduction into photos and Murray Valley bushwalkers and the next video clip I put together will explain in a bit more detail how we get around this problem of the Facebook photos not really being suitable for use in a photo album. Okay, thanks for watching.